going on guys welcome back to the channel appreciate y'all watching you know exactly what this video is in reference to it's the banshee top speed man so many of you guys were so mad at me man i was getting so much hate so much hate man people giving me shit saying what's the point of having all those mods if you're only going to go 81 miles per hour and just shit like that and i am here to tell you guys that that banshee can go 100 miles per hour and i'm going to prove it but really, a lot of you guys should know better. You know damn well that the top speed doesn't have everything to do with performance. And I'm very, very happy with the way that quad performs. And I think that the expense that I put into that quad is well worth it. And I think it'd be worth it for you too. Now, the reason that it only goes 81 miles per hour is gearing, guys. It's just geared lower. You know what I mean? I didn't build this quad to be a top speed demon or anything. It's supposed to be a trail demon. This thing's supposed to be a beast in the trails. So I had it geared low. You know, I wanted to go quick out of the corners and stuff like that. You know, if it has to bog down or anything, chances are it'll be able to rev up really quick. But if you have the gear stretched out really far, you might not be able to do that as well. And besides, I'm never going to be going over 80, I'll probably never even hit, you know, 70 miles an hour on the trails. It's just, there's, there's really no purpose to gearing that thing up. So if you watch the other video, that has just about stopped gearing in that video. Um, I have a 15 tooth sprocket in the front and a 41 tooth sprocket in the rear and they're 20 inch tires. Now from the factory for 1990, which is the year of the quad, I believe it is a 14 tooth and 41 in the rear on 20 inch tires. So the one tooth in the front might make it go a little bit faster, but the top speed on a stock Banshee really isn't that fast. What really makes something fast and quick is how quickly it gets there. Like I said, with the gearing. And just a quick little analogy for you guys, Probably a lot of you guys played racing games when you were growing up. I did too, man. And one of my favorite games was Gran Turismo. And one of my favorite things about it was that you could completely modify the cars and you could adjust the gearing. So when I would do these tight circuit tracks, I would put my gears as tight as they could possibly go. And the car would top out at like just over 100 miles per hour, which is relatively low for especially a race car and just a car in general. But in all the tight sections and everything, I'd be killing everybody because it accelerated so fast. And then you had the giant oval track. And on that track, I would stretch the gears out as far as they would go, and I would try to find what the fastest car was. And I think it was the Jaguar, uh, what the heck is it called? It's like an XKR or something, it's their supercar. But that car could go like 260 miles an hour or something. But it took like 10 minutes to get there, and you couldn't even top it out on the gigantic oval track, which had the really long straightaways and everything, because it's just not about top speed. And if you put that car in a tight circuit, it would lose to Honda Civics that are stock because it just takes so long to get to the top speed. So I hope you guys can see it from my point of view. That's why the top speed on the Banshee is only 81 miles per hour. But I have an idea and I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right guys, so I have a huge package. I also got some stuff in the mail. You can probably guess what this is right here. This is the answer to a 100 mile per hour Banshee. So let's cut this bad boy open and not cut the tires. Oh man. Dude, these things are sick. Wow. Look at that, man. Look at the sidewall on those puppies. Dude, so yeah, I went with some 22s with an 8-inch rim. Now, this isn't the only thing that's going to make that Banshee go 100 miles per hour. I got another trick in my sleeve right here. Let's see if we can do this too without cutting ourselves. Boom. Straight from driveline performance. Now, this isn't everything that I ordered. I actually have eight inch beadlock wheels that are on back order that are gonna be freaking sweet. I don't wanna go ahead and tell you what kind they are. I just uh, wanna let you know there are wheels coming. The only thing is, you know, I usually like to wait until I get all the parts together to show you guys, but they're talking um, mid-October until uh, those, those wheels get here. So I'm trying to work something out where I can get a different set of wheels in the meantime. So, because I'm not waiting that long to do these videos. Um, but I do have the, the rims coming and they're gonna look freaking awesome. These tires just, I mean, they're cool. I'm not really like a street tire guy for quads and all, um, but it does give the quad a nice look. Uh, for you guys to follow me on Instagram, I got a lot of hate, man. I posted something up 
um, where you could see what I had gotten in the mail. And I had a whole bunch of you guys send me DMs just saying, thumbs down, man. <laughs> Do not switch the Banshee over. But don't worry, guys. I'm not going uh, to go street and stay there. Not with the Banshee anyway. These are specifically going to be tires for doing top speed runs and um, going to be doing some acceleration runs too. And uh, we'll be able to use these on the Raptor and other builds as well. All right, guys. So right now I can't do that top speed run for you. Not until I get those wheels in the mail. Now, if you think that I'm going to hit 100 miles per hour, let me know in the comment section below. If you think it's going to be a huge flop and I'm only going to go 82 miles per hour, let me know that in the comment section below too. But the really big message that I want to get across here is I didn't want to discourage people from building a four mil Banshee or just building up their Banshee in general. If you're going for a top speed, doing the build just like I did, you're still going to be happy. Just put different gears on there. A lot of people were really focused on this, the whole number thing of just, you know, that, that top speed number. There's a lot more that goes into performance than that. And if you guys want to see a great explanation, you can check out John at Stupid Fast. He did post up a video kind of responding to our top speed run and why that 81 miles per hour was to be expected and um, just kind of going over all that stuff in general. And also for those of you that are following John as well, you probably saw he tore down his Banshee. We found out what he found out what's the matter with it. And um, he's going to have that thing up and running really soon. And we are going to be doing a drag race and we're going to do a top speed run with his too. So it's going to be really interesting. Have a lot of good content coming. Don't worry, guys. It will not be mid-October uh, when I get those wheels. Like I said, I'm going to get a different set of wheels. We'll make sure we get that 100 mile per hour run in. Hopefully within the next one or two weeks, I've got to get together with John. We were supposed to do it this weekend. We just couldn't do it because the parts didn't come. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. If you have any suggestions or anything that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments section below. We also did our first Q&A video. It turned out awesome. If you have questions and stuff, make sure to shoot John or I a DM, and we're going to be doing more Q&A videos just like that where we answer your questions. And speaking of DMs, check me out on Instagram. It's Michael Sabo 350 Got a lot of pictures of your guys' quads up there. A lot of badass stuff on there. It's pretty cool. Plus, you get a little bit of the inside scoop. Like I said, I had those tires up on there a couple days ago. Have an idea what's coming in the near future. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. First kick every time. Take that, John.